Good afternoon, everyone. I'm John Mercer. We'll continue to bring some breaking news on the incidents that happened this morning at the two military installations here in Chattanooga that left five people dead, including the gunman. And now we are learning more about the gunman tonight. James Mine is live in Hickson with the scene of a family home. James? John, this is something out of a movie. There's a helicopter. John, this is something out of a movie. There's a helicopter flying overhead. There are lots of men in military uniforms sealing off this housing estate behind me here in Colonial Way in Hickson. That military vehicle, hold on, can you see this, folks? We've got armed guards entering this subdivision here in Hickson, armed men. Uh, folks, this is an incredibly intense environment. We were ordered out of this subdivision just a few minutes ago. There's a lot of police presence both further down the road and inside. Um, we do believe that they're coming to the address of Yusuf Abdulaziz, who is the folks even more military presence, if you can see this right now. We have SWAT, we've got black vehicles. We've all kinds of military vehicles. We've got folks in camouflage and bulletproof vests. They're all entering this subdivision in Hickson right now. We're grabbing video as it stands. The road has been sealed off. This is Colonial Shores here in Hickson, the home of Abdullah Yusuf. We believe his son at this time, who's a 25-year-old gentleman, the family are of Palestinian descent, may possibly be connected to an incident that happened earlier today involving the shooting of a number of members of the Armed Forces and Police Department. As of yet, these are not confirmed. What we can tell you is there's an extensive police presence outside Colonial Shores here in Hickson. A load of military vehicles have just entered. We've been ordered off the property, and we'll keep you up to date as we know more. Reporting live in Hickson, James Mahan, WDF News 12. James, I don't know if you can hear me, but answer me this. Didn't you have a family friend tell you something about the suspect? What did they tell you? We spoke to a family friend, and what we can tell you is that the family friend informed us that this is a very devout family of Palestinian descent. They spend a lot of time overseas, and that they do have a son and a daughter. Their son, we believe, is in his mid-20s, possibly a UTC grad. And we've been told the neighbors are actually very friendly with this family, and there are a number of Muslim families in this community. As things stand, we do not know what is happening behind this entrance to Colonial Shores here in Hickson. All we do know is that an extensive amount of military vehicles have entered. More police cars have entered. They're sealing off the roads. There's a helicopter above me, and there are a lot of armed presence. Soldiers in military uniforms, what seem to be soldiers in military uniforms, they're in camouflage and they're carrying large loaded weapons. A lot of folks have been asked to vacate the premises here in Colonial Shores, which is a very pleasant subdivision here in Hickson, a very, very quiet area. And we believe they are heading to Yusuf Abdulaziz's home He's a 57-year-old man. We believe he's possibly the father of a gentleman called Mohammed Abdulaziz. And we believe that this gentleman may or may not be connected to the shootings that happened earlier today. All right, thank you. James Mahan reporting live from Hickson, and where again he tells us a number of people are going in right now, uh, looking in a home in Hickson right now. The suspect we have identified as Mohammed Yusuf Abdulaziz. Again, Mohammed Yusuf Abdulaziz. And apparently, this is a family home that people are now investigating for its ties to what happened this morning and the incidents that left five people dead, including the gunman, four people of military backgrounds. Of course, we're going to have the very latest coming up tonight on a special report tonight at 5 o'clock right here on WDEF News 12. I'm John Mercer. We'll see you then.